Yes, you do. It is Kowalski. Kowalski, it's you. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good. I simply felt compelled to call in due to the cashew controversy. Mm, thank you very much. I'm I, curious I'm... if this means your militant veganist uh, arc is over. You know, um, I mean, it's quite fluid. Uh, TBD. Mm. Well, actually, I was just going to say, do not uh, feel guilty for eating cashews. There's essentially nothing in the food industry that doesn't involve massive resource exploitation and labor exploitation. Right. So, like the same argument people have of everyone going vegetarian or vegan, uh, it would collapse the global food chain system without a ju uh, just transition. So, uh, yeah, those people are just trying to uh, self-aggrandize. And, uh, yeah, it's just we see it. So. Yeah. Well, I appreciate uh, the, the comforting words, Kowalski. I, I'm i going to try for the time period to stay in my cashew-shaped cocoon. That's a good example, though, right? Like, these sorts of stories, I love knowing about how um, how much they're drying up land in um, because capitalists are farming them. Um, making it an individual choice is uh, not the solution that we uh, ever lead with, though, in my opinion. It, it's, like, literally a way to design to just make people... Uh, actually like, all right, against guys, the left. These yeah. leftists don't let me eat my cashews or large sodas. Right, which right. Is what, which is why I'm against the left. And don't come after my video games either. Like, I mean, maybe my sister would be upset if I told this story on air, but like my, my, uh, my stepdad and mom were using too many plastic water bottles and she wrote all, she, so she wrote <laughs> stuff all over the plastic water bottles. Like, I forget, she must have been bored one afternoon just to troll them, like all the statistics about how much it hurt the ocean. And they just got pissed. I mean, they were just, they're like, no, I mean, it didn't, it didn't help the situation in any way. I've got to be honest. Uh, but I, you could shame people for using plastics or you could, you know, try to make a policy that we switch back to glass bottles, which are easier to be recycled. And even if they break, they don't necessarily pollute the environment. Yeah. So, right. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. It's, it's interesting to be a noble individual, but functionally speaking, you're a drop in an ocean, like legitimately a drop in the ocean. But yeah, I was just going to say, don't feel guilty about eating foods that are available. There's not really much you can do, and we're mer at the mercy of a monoculture system. So with that, have a happy holiday. Have a happy holiday to you, uh, Kowalski, if I don't talk to you before the Christmas break. Later. Later. Also, check out our uh, conversation with uh, Kowalski on the Left Reckoning Patreon, because I've been thinking about this, honestly, like if I was Joe Biden, or if I was president, and it could, you know, uh, get a party do my agenda um i would do this thing where that kowalski suggested where you have greenhouses um a massive greenhouse uh program because greenhouses are the future of how we need to do food because uh insulated from climate uh you, the pesticides don't go every fucking place in the world so you're not creating like a mm. massive problem there um and and also it's closer to labor where people need it and not out in the middle of nowhere right and, and also they're pretty Exactly. Can you imagine walking past a nice greenhouse where maybe you work? It's like a co-op greenhouse, oh, and you. Can... I loved. I used to go like get every weekend. I'd go with my dad to get flowers at the greenhouse. It was like it's one of my favorite childhood memories. They're beautiful. Yeah, and like I, my my mom grew up on a dairy farm with a whole bunch of other stuff too, and we had a a, gar a big garden in our backyard. Like I hated it growing up because I was when I had, had to weed it, and it wasn't you know I we didn't it wasn't a co-op, so I didn't have the same sort of ownership over those vegetables that my parents did. Yeah. <laughs> over what or or what gets planted, but looking back at it now, like that is talk about like meaning and um like wanting to do something that's um gives you meaning. How about like growing your own food yeah <laughs> right like i mean there are people i know like people make fun of it but if you have a backyard and people who have their own chicken coops like there's i mean and growing their own vegetables that is like there is some i mean i would find it therapeutic i'd imagine too absolutely and then to but to do that on like a high-tech scale where you like instead of this old industrial stuff and you, of course you'd have to do it but i mean it wouldn't be probably better for the environment than these amazon warehouses where you got diesel trucks um right. uh, idling but yeah i don't know i'm i'm all about that so check that out on patreon left reckoning just gonna plug that one more time yeah de definitely uh socialist bear rights and have uh Kowalski call back in and explain the pros and cons of no-till cover crop farming all right kowalski that's your assignment for uh, the next few days.